Now I have been doing many ranking videos over the course of the past couple months, but today guys I have my most ambitious video in the history of the channel. Today we will be ranking all 154 sports logos from the 5 major sports leagues in the US, the NBA, NFL, NHL, MLB, and MLS. As with my other videos, this will be based off of the overall appearance of the logo and any other easter eggs or nods to the city or team they have. Considering that there are 154 logos, I will be ranking through these logos pretty quickly, but as you probably know, I already have the individual league rankings on my channel, so if you want to see a more in-depth review on that specific logo, just make sure to check out my other videos. Feel free to like and subscribe, it always helps out the channel, as well as comment your favorite logos down below, and maybe even your least favorites. And also make sure to check out my channel in general. If you like sports, you will like my channel, as I upload two times a week. With that out of the way, let's rank these 154 major sports logos from worst to best. In last place at number 154, we have the Utah Jazz logo. A downgrade from their previous logos, bland, no coloring, and not that much detail. At 153, we have the Colorado Rockies logo. At least there is some coloring here, but just like the Jazz logo, oversimplified. Placing at 152, we have the Pittsburgh Pirates logo. Now, I know they have a lot of fans, but come on, it really is just a yellow P and nothing more. At 151, we have another MLB team, and this is the Minnesota Twins. A severe downgrade from their past logo, and once again, just too simple for me. We have the Columbus Crew logo at 150, and it follows a pretty simple banner design, however I do like how the banner is in the shape of the Ohio State flag. Another MLS logo at 149, and this is the Nashville Soccer Club. A basic design, and it doesn't really have a good looking color scheme either, with that bright yellow and dark blue in the center. At 148, we have the Commanders logo. One of the newer logos, but it's pretty basic, just a stylized W. At 147, we have the Detroit Pistons logo, and we've seen better iterations of this logo in the past, this one today is pretty pretty basic. Coming in at 146, we have the Brooklyn Nets logo. An alright design, but it's pretty much void of any color or character. At 145, we have the Tampa Bay Rays logo. It pretty much just is the word Rays with a couple extra details regarding the sun and the stingray tail. Besides that, nothing special. At 144, we have the Clippers logo. This logo is all over the place, with the word Clippers being the biggest thing on it, random lines, then you have the Clippers basketball on top, their new logo looks much better. At 143 we have the Athletics logo, one of those simple circular badge logos in the MLB, and this one honestly is the bottom of the barrel. Just one upping it at 142 is the Nationals logo. I just prefer it due to the slightly better color scheme. At 141 we have the San Diego Padres logo. Pretty simple from an outward appearance, but it is kind of cool once you do realize that the S and D form a P, representing the full name San Diego Padres. At 140 we have the Cincinnati Football Club's logo. A bit of an odd logo, but I do like the white line as well as the blue and orange color scheme. At 139 we have Real Salt Lake's logo. Another MLS Shield logo, but I do like the color scheme of yellow, blue, and red as well as the intertwining letters. At 138 we have the New York Giants logo. Simple, yet that's actually what shines with this logo. At 137 we have another New York football team and that is the Jets. Still not a great logo, but I do prefer the green football shape compared to the Giants logo. At 136 we have the Cincinnati Reds logo. All it is is that wishbone C in the word reds in the center, but I will say it looks nice for what it's trying to accomplish. At 135 we have the Earthquakes logo. Yes, another example of the MLS using a shield logo, but this one looks better than the past iterations. At 134 we have another MLS shield logo and this is the St. Louis City. A slightly better color scheme and I like how they incorporate the gateway arch. At 133 we have our first NHL logo of the video, the Anaheim Ducks. It's alright, the webbed foot in the shape of a D, but they should have stuck with the Mighty Ducks logo. At 132 we have the LA Kings logo. Just think of a better Brooklyn Nets logo with the detail and the crown in the center. At 131 we have the Atlanta Braves logo. I do like the tomahawk, however I wish somehow that the tomahawk and the Braves words were both incorporate to one another instead of separate. At 130 we have the Washington Capitals logo. Pretty simple as it mostly is just the wording of Washington Capitals, but I do like how they made the T a hockey stick and you have the three stars representing DC, Virginia, and Maryland. At 129 we have the Spurs logo. A very similar approach to the Capitals logo, except I prefer the main point of this logo, the actual spur, and I think it's a neat touch how it makes up the U. At 128 we have the Lightning logo. Very simple, just one color, but I will say the Lightning Bolt design with the circle around it looks super clean. At 127 we have Chicago Fire Football Club. 
I like the nod to the Chicago Fire Department with the star in the center, and the color scheme is the same exact color scheme as the Chicago flag. At 126, we have the Cavaliers logo. It's an alright logo, but it is sad to see how the Cavaliers continue to simplify this logo more and more, as you see the sword going through the sea has been removed, and other nice small details that used to be present. At 125, we have the Rams logo. Such a downgrade from previous logos, however, I still do like the color scheme, but you could make the argument that this logo does look like the Microsoft Edge logo. Coming in at 124, we have the Dallas Stars logo. I love the shade of green used, but besides that, the logo is pretty simple with the D and the star behind it, representing Texas as the Lone Star State. At 123, we have the Sporting Kansas City logo. An alright color scheme, but I do appreciate the attention to detail in the shield, the intertwining S and C, as well as the striping on the other side. At 122, we have the Winnipeg Jets logo. I love the detailed fighter jet in the center over the maple leaf, which not only represents the team, but also the location in which the team plays in. Coming in at 121, we have the Carolina Hurricanes logo. As you can see, it is just straight up a hurricane in the shape of a hockey puck. It could be a little more clear what the logo is, but I do like the creativity. At 120, we have the Cincinnati Bengals logo. It really is just a B with the tiger stripes on it, which isn't bad, but I do prefer the Bengal head, which we saw on their last logo. At 119 we have the Phoenix Suns logo. The basketball sun will always be iconic, however they could have a more modern approach as this logo is starting to look a bit outdated. At 118 we have the Green Bay Packers logo. A historic franchise which is why they keep the logo simple. It really is just that green G which stands for greatness in the overall shape of a football. At 117 we have the Tennessee Titans logo. It has the fireball with the Titans T in the shape of the sword in the center and a nice color scheme of red, white, and blue. Now very similar, another football logo at 116 is the Patriots logo. Same color scheme with a bit more of a navy blue but I feel like this logo is a bit more iconic and more unique than this Titans logo. At 115 we have the Red Bulls logo. The design is solid but there's really no creativity whatsoever as it really just takes the branding of the actual Red Bull drink. At 114 we have the Houston Astros logo. One of those common MLB circular logos, I feel like this one does very well with the navy blue and orange color scheme. But one-upping that at 113 is the Rangers logo. Just that but with a little more detail including the baseball stitching and the stars representing Texas as the Lone Star State. At 112 we have the Vancouver Whitecaps logo. It looks simple but it's actually very clever as it has the mountains in the center and the bluer mountains on the bottom half are supposed to represent the reflection across water. At 111 we have the Dynamo logo. It looks really cool, I love the font and the intertwining H and D, however there isn't really that much soccer representation here as this honestly could look like just the branding for an electrical company. At 110 we have the upcoming San Diego Football Club logo. Take this placement with a grain of salt as this team will be added in 2025 so there is a good chance that this logo will be changed by the time that the team actually starts playing. At 109 we have the Blue Jackets logo. Pretty simple, the silver star in the center and the Ohio flag wrapping around it but it does look very clean. At 108 we have the Thunder logo. Yes it is a bit outdated and could use a revamp and there isn't really that much relation to Thunder but I do like that classic kind of early 2000s design and the color scheme. Another NBA logo at 107 is the Pacers logo. The main central piece is that P shape with the basketball in the center, but recently they did add that Indiana Pacers border around it. Placing at 106 we have the Florida Panthers logo. Now I do prefer their previous lunging panther, but I will say the badge looks pretty good as well with the fierce panther front and center. At 105 we have another NHL cat logo and this is the Predators. As you can see the saber tooth has an elongated head showing movement and those two giant front teeth. Overall I enjoy it. At 104 we have the Cleveland Browns logo. I actually like this logo more than most people do as it really is just the Cleveland Browns helmet. But it is one of the more iconic logos in the league and it's surprisingly complex. At 103 we have another iconic NFL logo and this is the 49ers. Like I said mostly iconic not so much for the detail but just for how long standing it's been. At 102 we have the New York Rangers logo. It has the same shape as the NHL logo except their own spin on it with the blue, red, and white coloring. Simple yet decent. At 101 we have the Portland Timbers logo. I like the symmetricality as well as the color scheme but there isn't really that much detail besides the white axe so it does look like it's missing something. We are finally entering the top 100 on this list and starting us off we have the Houston Rockets logo. 
you have that primary red R rocket in the center, which has been used for a long time, but they've recently added the basketball background and the ring around it, just like the ring of a planet. At 99, we have the Trailblazers logo. Now, I've always liked the yin and yang nature of the five on five, the five red stripes and the five white stripes, as it actually represents the basketball game being played. Not only clever, but also eye-catching. At 98, we have the New England Revolution. I wish they stuck with the USA flag logo, that looked amazing and really separated themselves from the rest of the MLS, but this logo that we have right here with the red banner in the center is pretty solid. At 97 we have the San Francisco Giants logo. I love the detailed baseball with the stitching in the back and I like how the Giants word protrudes from out of the baseball, kind of giving a 3D effect. At 96 we have the Charlotte Football Club logo. A simple circular logo design but with a nice black and blue color scheme and the crown in the center. At 95, one-upping it, we have the Montreal logo. A darker blue and more detail. You have the shield and then the fleur de lis in the center, and I think this design overall looks much better. Placing at 94, we have the Colorado Rapids logo. I'm not really a fan of these skinnier logos, and there's not really any reference to Rapids here, but I do enjoy the overall color scheme as well as the mountains and soccer ball in the foreground. We have yet another MLS logo with the Los Angeles Football Club. Not too much personality, but I really love the black and gold color scheme and the wing coming out of the letter A. Speaking of wing, at 92 we have the Philadelphia Flyers logo. A simple black design with that orange dot and it has the wing on the left side, the puck on the right, and it's a pretty beloved logo. At 91 we have the Canucks logo. A Canuck means a Canadian, so as you can imagine it's pretty tough to represent that on a logo, but I do like the move that they went here with the killer whale breaking out of the hockey stick shaped ice. At 90 we have the Chargers logo. The simple lightning bolt, yet it looks really good on helmets and jerseys. At 89 we have the Steelers logo. Representing the Steel City, it is just a copy of that Steelmark logo, but I feel like it's a nice representation of the city and it looks great as a football logo. At 88, we have the New York City Football Club logo. Once again, one of the classic New York logos to have these intertwined letters in the center, and I think this logo is no different in doing it nicely. At 87, we have Orlando City. The purple and gold color scheme perfectly encapsulates royalty, and I love the lion combined with the sunray mane in the center. At 86, we have the Toronto Football Club logo. Love the layers on this thing. You have that crown shaped design at the top, the Toronto banner going across the center, combined with a nice color scheme. At 85, we have the Detroit Tigers logo. A beloved logo throughout the MLB. This logo is simple and classic, yet it doesn't really stack up to the more detailed logos later on in this list. At 84, we have the Diamondbacks logo. I love the rattlescape pattern on the left side, as well as the tongue in the center of the A. The new teal color added gives a more unique and fresh look. At 83 we have another A logo in the MLB, this is the Angels. Once again, love the craftiness here, you have that halo going around the tip of the A and the color scheme looks great. At 82 we have the Philadelphia Union logo. I'm a big fan of this blue and gold color, I love the snake on the front of the shield and then there's the 13 stars on the bottom representing the 13 colonies. At 81 we have Inter Miami's logo. Now this has the same design concept as it has that circle on the outside with the shield in the center, except I like the black and pink color scheme a bit more and I love the two symmetrical herons in the center which also form the letter M. Coming in at 80 we have the Wizards logo. The patriotic red, white, and blue color scheme is met nicely with the design of the Washington Monument in the center and the basketball with the star up top. At 79 we have the Royals logo. One of the more baseball feeling logos with that cursive font for the word Royals and then you have the KC shield with the crown on top. At 78 we have the Dallas Football Club logo. A fierce bull in the center, you have that flame on its forehead which represents the old team's branding and then you have the star on the chest representing Texas as the Lone Star State. At 77 we have the Flames logo. Well pretty self explanatory, you just have the C for Calgary and then the flames attached to the C. At 76 we have the Canadians logo. A classic logo but pretty simple, it has the C representing Canadians and the H representing hockey, which many people falsely believe that it means habitants. At 75 we have the Chicago Cubs logo. It's kind of like the Canadians logo of the MLB in a way, simple yet timeless and it has the same color scheme of red, white and blue. At 74 we have the Guardians logo. The wing G's look really nice and they're a nod to the famous Hope Ridge in Cleveland and then you have the baseball wedged in between. At 73 we have the Colts logo. I love the simple blue horseshoe, it really does all it needs to do as a logo and it looks great on their helmets. At 72 we have the Raptors logo. Not as good as the vintage logo of the Raptor dribbling the ball, but I do like the basketball with the claws in the side. At 71 we have the Ottawa Senators logo. One of the older logos you'll find and you can definitely tell by the overall look of this logo, but I think it hasn't aged and still looks great today. At 70 we have the Magic logo. 
probably a bit outdated and could use an update, however I've always been a fan of the color scheme and that blue magic ball. At 69 we have the Austin Football Club logo, a very unique black and green logo with two oak trees intertwining in the center, which represents the relationship between the team and the city. At 68 we have the St. Louis Blues logo, huge fan of that blue and yellow color scheme and I love the simplicity of the blues just being that one music note with wings. At 67 we have the Kraken logo, one of the newer expansion teams in the NHL, the Kraken actually have a really nice colored logo and I love how they managed to incorporate that tentacle in there and the red Kraken eye. At 66 we have the Sacramento Kings logo. One of those modernized logos, but it looks pretty good with the basketball on the bottom half, the purple crown on the top half. Maybe there could be a bit more detail. At 65, we have the Chiefs logo. A pretty simple logo, yet I absolutely love the arrowhead and then KC in the center, and actually was just drawn in a couple of seconds on a napkin by Chiefs owner Lamar Hunt. At 64, we have the Houston Texans logo. Very clever how they managed to make that bull's head in the shape of Texas as well. And of course, like all Texas teams, they tried to incorporate that Texas Lone Star somewhere in the logo. Placing at 63, we have the Atlanta United logo. Another circular logo here from the MLS. We have some nice red and black striping down the center, a beautiful gold A in the middle, and some nice bordering on the outside. At 62, we have the Chicago White Sox logo. I love the diagonal overlapping SOX. Really clean and a sleek black and white design. At 61, we have the Dodgers logo. It's a classic and simplicity really gets the job done here. I absolutely love the flying baseball in the background and that smooth cursive Dodgers font in the center. At 60, we have the Mariners logo. One of the circular logos done right, as it has the compass in the center, both cardinal and intermediate directions, and then you have the baseball in between, with the details such as the stitching and a nice background. At 59, we have the Avalanche logo. One of those kind of outdated logos that still looks great today, as it just has a lot of detail. The hockey puck going down the mountain in this avalanche fashion, and the A being a mountain itself. It's just very clever. At 58, we have the Lakers logo. Once again, absolute classic. Not too much detail, but you can clearly tell it's a basketball team. I love the streaky font, and purple and gold will always be a great color scheme. At 57, we have another classic NBA logo, and this is the Knicks logo. I feel like this logo is just more grand. You have that giant lettering on top, the orange basketball, and the blue background triangle in the center, and it does more for me than the Lakers logo. At 56, we have the Islanders logo. Crammed with detail, you have Long Island in the background, you have the eye pointing to where they actually play, the hockey stick with four stripes representing their four Stanley Cups, and in the colors of New York City. At 55, we have the Oilers logo. Simple yet very clever as it has that orange droplet at the top and the Oilers words in the center which also, just like oil, drip down to the bottom of the logo. At 54, we have the Bruins logo. A beautiful color scheme, I love the yellow and black and it has the spoked B which represents Boston as being known as the hub. At 53, we have the Philadelphia 76ers logo. Once again, the focus on patriotism. You have the red, white, and blue color scheme, and above the seven, you have the 13 stars. At 52, we got the Buffalo Sabres logo. There's the Buffalo on top and the two Sabres on the bottom. Pretty self-explanatory, but a nicely put together logo. At 51, we have the Pelicans logo. One of the newer logos, but I do like the overall design of the Pelican. It looks really clean, sharp, and it's holding the basketball in its beak. We are finally entering the top 50. We have some amazing logos yet to come, but kicking us off, we have the Phillies logo. Once again, Philadelphia is great at making patriotic logos. You have the Liberty Bell in the background and a nice cursive Phillies font in the front. At 49, we have the Dallas Mavericks logo. I love the beautiful fierce Maverick on the left side with that blue basketball background and the rest of the bordering in Texas done nicely. At 48, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs logo. A super detailed blue maple leaf, really not much more than that, but I love the attention to detail as well as the text in the center. At 47, we have the classic New York Yankees logo. This has been around forever, but it still looks great today. The old cursive, the baseball stitching, and of course, the patriotic hat that is over the baseball bat. Still looks great today. At 46, we have the Dolphins logo. Not as good as the previous logo with the helmet on, but it still looks very clean. At 45, we have the Orioles logo. I really enjoy the giant smiling Oriole head and I like how it's wearing the team's own baseball cap. At 44 we have the New York Mets logo. Super underrated, I just love how the overall shape is a baseball as you can see with the stitching and in the background you have the New York City skyline and a bridge up center. At 43 we have the LA Galaxy logo. I love the shield shape, the galaxy banner going across and I love how the color scheme is all those cosmic colors and then you have the star in the center. At 42 we have the New Jersey Devils logo. It perfectly balances simplicity and craft as somehow the N and J form the devil and its wing. 
At 41, we have the Arizona Cardinals logo. I love this little fierce cardinal that we see on the logo. Nice coloring. However, there is an even better Cardinals logo that we'll get to later on. At 40, we have the Carolina Panthers logo. Once again, the NFL does a great job at making these fierce logos, and this Panther does look very fierce with that black and blue color scheme. Now, these next three placements are all classic logos that don't have the detail to fight against these logos higher up on the list, but they have definitely stood the test of time. Starting with the 39 Saints. Beautiful simplicity with that gold fleur de lis and it looks absolutely amazing on their helmets. At 38, we have another classic NFL logo, and this is the Cowboys logo. Very simple, doesn't have the detail to stack up against the higher logos, but it will never be changed for that reason. And once again, it looks absolutely amazing on uniforms. At 37, we have the Boston Red Sox. Probably the most self-explanatory logo as there literally is just red socks, but it is a classic logo that once again will never be changed and looks great. At 36, we have the Memphis Grizzlies logo. I'm actually one of the rare people who prefer this over their Vancouver Grizzlies logo as I just love the full face of that fierce grizzly. At 35, we have the Denver Nuggets. One of the better, more detailed circular logos you'll see as it manages to fit in not only mountains, but also a basketball and dueling pickaxes. An amazing logo and a great color scheme. At 34, we have another circular NBA logo. This is the Atlanta Hawks. The iconic Pac-Man logo. I love the simplicity of the red and white color scheme and just an angry hawk going down the center. At 33, we have the Raiders logo. An absolute classic. I love that black and silver shield. And then you have the iconic pirate staring at you in the center. But at 32, another pirate-themed NFL logo, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I like the flag on the sword design a bit better and absolutely love the skull, football, and swords in the center of the flag. At 31, we have Minnesota United's logo. A beautiful loon which represents Minnesota State Bird, and then you have the North Star in the top left corner. And I love how the irregular shape of this logo helps to accommodate both. At 30, we have the brand new Seattle Sounders logo. A major overhaul from their old logo, but I absolutely love the futuristic silhouette of the Seattle Space Needle. And then you also have those eye-grabbing colors. At 29, in a sort of similar design, we have the Warriors logo. Once again, modern, very clean, but you have the silhouette of the Bay Bridge, and it looks amazing in the center of that blue and yellow circle. At 28, we have the Vegas Golden Knights logo. Once again, the great color scheme of black and gold. I absolutely love how the mask openings form a V, and there's a hidden spear running down the center of the helmet. At 27, we have the DC United logo, and somehow the last MLS logo on this list. I think the MLS has some great logos, but they don't necessarily stack up to all the other major sports in the US. But with that being said, the DC United logo is very good with that bald eagle in the center, wings outstretched over the shield. And then you have that DC flag pattern on the lower half of the eagle. At 26, we have the Broncos logo. Obviously, you have that angry charging Bronco with the beautiful orange features. I love how they incorporated orange not only in the main, but also the eye as well. At 25, we have the Jaguars logo. Once again, very cool how they incorporated Incorporated that aqua color you wouldn't really expect it on a jaguar but it looks great here and then you have the rest of this very modern and detailed design at 24 we have the pittsburgh penguins logo an iconic logo i love how the penguin is on ice skates itself with a hockey stick in hand and the yellow triangle background wraps it up perfectly at 23 we have the timberwolves logo you have the beautiful wolf howling towards the sky in the direction of the North Star, which is lime green, which looks great. And then you have that awesome basketball background, as well as the rest of the border text, which looks clean as well. At 22, we have the Seahawks logo. It's great visually with that neon green eye, but it's also an amazing call to the Native Americans who lived in the area, as the logo is completely based off of the transformation mask. At 21, we have the Miami Heat logo. I absolutely love the idea of the flaming basketball going through the hoop, and it looks simply amazing. Cracking the top 20, we have another Miami team, and this is the Marlins. I love the Miami Vice coloring here, and then you have that beautiful Marlin front and center, and then with the baseball striping coming out from behind it. Really cool, and I love the font that they use for the word Miami. At 19, we have the Coyotes logo. It features that very unique Native American Kachina design. It's one of the more unique logos across all major sports, and I absolutely love the rebranding here. Not to mention a very bold but good looking color scheme as well. At 18, we have the Sharks logo. A very detailed shark biting through that hockey stick with an amazing turquoise and orange color scheme. And then additionally, you have that shark tooth background, which also represents the red triangle, an area off the coast that has a high concentration of sharks. At 17, we have the Blue Jays logo. A beautifully designed Blue Jay, front and center, very large, and then you have off to the side, the red Toronto Maple Leaf. At 16, we have the Chicago Bears logo. 
This actually is one of the newer primary logos, and it used to be their secondary logo, but it is so much better than their old C logo. They did an amazing job at making the design look vintage, and this has so much detail. At 15, we have another Chicago logo, and this is the Blackhawks. An amazing design that has stood the test of time perfectly and has so much reference to Chicago. It was named after the World War I Infantry Unit Blackhawk Division, which was stationed in Illinois. And then the logo itself represents the Native American chief named Blackhawk, who was infamous in the Illinois area. These next three placements are all NFL Modern Bird logos, starting with the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens purple and gold is a really nice color scheme along with that red eye, and then of course you have the B standing for Baltimore in the center of the Raven. At 13, we have the Atlanta Falcons logo. Another highly detailed NFL bird, except with this one, it has the falcon swooping down on some prey, but also in the shape of the F, as you see the wings coming down and its main body. And then at 12, we have the Philadelphia Eagles. This bird, I feel like, is the most clear to decipher what it's doing, and then you have the feathers on the right side making the letter E. Another nice color scheme, and it's interesting how this is the only leftward-facing logo in the NFL. At 11, we have the St. Louis Cardinals. A very classic look, they've been using this logo forever, and I love the detailed Cardinal sitting on the baseball bat. We are finally entering the top 10 logos across all major sports. These are truly some elite logos. Starting us off, we have the Milwaukee Brewers. A very underrated logo as it not only has a great color scheme, but the central image of the baseball glove is so clever. The fingers form the M and the thumb and the palm form the B. And the baseball in the center is the cherry on top. At number 9, we have the Charlotte Hornets logo. Extremely modern, arguably one of the most futuristic looking logos in the US. Highly detailed, the abdomen of the Hornet is in the shape of a basketball with the stinger poking out. And I like how the Hornet is grabbing onto the words Charlotte Hornets. At 8, we have the Detroit Red Wings. A super classy design, yet it still holds up today. With Detroit being the motor city, you obviously have the tire in the front. And obviously Red Wings, the tire has some wings coming out of it. At number 7, we have the Minnesota Vikings. Although it doesn't look that old of a logo, this design has been used since 1966. Still, I don't see this logo changing anytime soon. You got the Viking and its beard, the braided hair, and of course the helmet with those iconic Viking horns. At number 6, we have the Boston Celtics logo. This style of logo has been used since 1968 with some revisions over the years, but man, not only is this an older logo, but it has so much detail in it. The green, white, and gold color scheme looks great. You have the leprechaun with a pipe in his mouth, spinning a basketball on his finger, and then a cane in the other hand. This logo is filled with charm. Entering our top 5, we have the Detroit Lions logo. Once again, an extremely old logo design spanning all the way back to 1960, obviously with revisions over time, but this logo is amazing. I love the light blue, silver, and white color scheme. The Lions pose is simply amazing as it's growling at its opponent. And the overall detail and design of the lion is amazing. It looks like it's a house lion. At number 4, we have the Chicago Bulls logo. One of the more famous logos in the world, especially through pop culture, and that's not just because of Michael Jordan. That's because this logo is just amazing. Probably the meanest looking logo out of anything on this list. The bull just looks like it's about to charge at you. The beautiful horns on each side. The angry expression its face makes along with that detail. And that beautiful bold red. Yes, it's a vintage logo, but it's still better than 99% of the NBA logos. But the reason it's not the best NBA logo is because the number 3 Milwaukee Bucks exist. A newer logo just unveiled in 2015, but it does have the look of an old classic logo, while combining a lot of modern elements. A beautiful buck in the center, it looks angry but at the same time stunning with those beautiful antlers making the shape of a basketball in the center and then branching out over top. In addition, the neck of the buck makes an M shape and that's all over this calm cream colored background which looks great. My favorite logo from the NBA and my third favorite logo throughout all sports. At number 2 we have the Buffalo Bills logo. The charging buffalo used since 1974 hasn't aged a single day. I absolutely love the beautiful red stripe coming down from the horns just to indicate how fast the buffalo is moving as it's propelling off its back two legs. The blue and red color scheme looks amazing. And this is one of those logos that looks amazing anywhere, on the field, to the team's helmets, the team's uniforms, and even just looking at it like we are right now. It's incredible, it's deserving of the number one spot if it weren't for my number one choice, the Minnesota Wild. Yes, a smaller market team, a little lesser known than a lot of the teams previously mentioned, but look at their logo and that's all I need to say. An entire ecosystem is formed within this outline of a wild animal. It looks to be a bear, yet the team actually hasn't confirmed an official animal for this outline. 
But where do I begin? Obviously you see this beautiful evergreen habitat in the center with pretty much every single feature making up a part of this animal's outline. First of all, you have that river that is running up that represents the animal's mouth. You have mountains on the left side that represent the nose structure for the animal. You have the north star, obviously the animal's eye. The beautiful yellow, either moon or sun, it can mean either, represents the animal's ear. And then those evergreen trees represent just some fur coloring. Absolutely amazing not only how these all come together to make that habitat but also the outline of the animal's head but also included is an amazing color scheme as well. Dark forest green, that bright red, yellow, and even some beige along the outside perfectly round up this logo which I think is the greatest logo across all US major sports. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment your opinions down below. Obviously, with 154 different logos, you guys are going to have completely different opinions from mine. So make sure to comment anything you think differently from me, any information you'd like to add. This easily was my most ambitious project yet on the channel. So once again, make sure to show your support. Make sure to check out my channel in general. If you like sports, you will enjoy my channel. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next heaps video. Yeah.